It's 25th January 2021 and Chelsea has sacked Frank Lampard. Honestly speaking, I saw this coming. I saw this coming because in the last eight games, we have lost five games. Drew one and one two. And let's be very clear. This is a relegation form. This is a relegation form, poor form, and that is just not expected of Chelsea. Even though if I'm Frank Lampard in, we all know Roman Abramovich's passion for football. We all know his ambition for football. He is going to not uh, sit quiet and he's going to sack Frank Lampard. That's what happened. He's very ruthless owner. He's a very ruthless owner. He wants to win trophies after trophies after trophies. And that's what happened. Previously also we have seen that uh, he has sacked Ancelotti at the tunnel who has won the trophy for Chelsea Football Club. He has sacked him directly after a poor run of form. Then he has sacked our most successful manager Jose Mourinho who previous season, season before has won a title, Premier League title and after that from first he has gone straight rock bottom to 16th position. So Roman Abramovich just sacked him. That sacking just proved that Roman Abramovich just wants to win the title and that was the tipping point. That just shows that in this club there is no room for sentiments. Success over sentiments. Success over sentiments. Trophies over sentiments. After that sacking. After sacking of Jose Mourinho. Then he has uh, sacked Antonio Conte also. Means he has parted ways with Antonio Conte. He also previous season he has won the trophy and the club didn't back him also. Now let's come honestly with Frank Lampard. When he was appointed, I was just ecstatic. I was very, very happy that a club legend has been appointed. Hopefully there will be a long term success. And honestly speaking, when he was uh, appointed as the manager, Chelsea was suffering for a transfer ban. And uh, nobody expected Chelsea to finish top four. Everyone was predicting like, ah, Chelsea is going to finish around sixth, seventh, eighth, like that position. But Frank Lampard, with his magic, has finished top four. Against all odds, when no expectations was there, he has finished top four. He has overachieved. He has overachieved in his first season. With a transfer van, it was a commendable achievement. So the board thought that without any expectation, without any hopes, he has finished top four. So let's give him some backing. Let's give him some money. Then we can go for the next stage. That is competing for the title, challenging for the title, and maybe win the title. So Chelsea, like any other big club, shown ambition, had expectations, had all the hopes. But forget about winning the title. Chelsea are now at the ninth position. 11 points. 11 points behind the lead toppers Manchester United. Perhaps there will be 12 if Manchester City wins their next game. So it's going downhill. It's going downhill. When there is expectations, when there is hopes, the manager is failing to deliver. And this is a very tough decision. It's not an easy decision. And uh, Chelsea has shown that there is no sentiments in the game. There is survival of the fittest. And that's what they have done. I saw this coming. I told before only, even if I want the manager in, club Roman Abramovich is going to sack him. He's going to sack him. No mercy will be shown. No sympathy will be shown. Simple as that. And that's what happened today. As a player, he was a club legend. But as a manager, Positive things what he has done for this football club is that uh, Mason Mount and this Reese James, both of them, he has empowered them. They have uh, been their best under Frank Lampard, these two players. They have strived under Frank Lampard. I don't know what will happen to them after the new manager comes in. Really, these two players have to be protected. These two players have to be protected at any cost, no matter what. So what is the reason for his sacking? Basically, 220 million out of that, the two big German signings that Kai Havertz, he looked like German James Charles this whole season, honestly speaking. He didn't even look like an 80 million player. He looked like German James Charles. Then uh, Timo Warner. It was not Timo time. It was frustrating time for all the fans seeing him play. So these two players have been disappointing. Either they are not performing, they are not showing up or the manager is not getting the best out of them. Then tactically also we are seeing these games. If plan A is not working, then there is no plan B, no plan C. It's just pass the ball to the wing, cross and pray to God. Pass the ball to the wing, cross, pray to God. No plan B, no plan C. Forget about if there is no plan B, there can be plan C also. So that's the thing. And I'll say one more thing. 
if uh, main manager's tactic is not working in few clubs assistant managers put some tactics and place it on the board place it on the card and in our club the assistant manager assistant manager we need someone like steve holland you know we need someone like steve holland when steve holland left this club the club went downhill that's it the club went downhill last time steve holland was there at the club we won the title under antonio conte in uh, 16 17 season at 2017 he has left we need someone like steve holland get that steve holland back get him back now the board is going after thomas tuchel he has uh, reached finals with psg see psg's domestic league if you win the domestic league it comes into no account but uh, he has reached the champions league final with psg i feel uh, that's a decent achievement before if you have seen in psg nobody has come to that stage they have either got knocked out in the quarter final stage or at the round of 16 stage but he has taken them one step further so i would like to give him a chance but if you ask my honest preference i would go for allegri i'll go for allegri because he's a tactical genius he has taken juventus two times in the champions league finals in those finals first finals msn was there messi neymar suarez they were unbeatable that time they were ruthless that time so he has lost to them then second time he has lost to madrid and madrid was uh, unbeatable that time ronaldo marcelo ramos varan carvajal then uh, who bail benzema all the good good players were there modric cruz casemiro they were really brilliant team they were unbeatable team and madrid with ronaldo was unbeatable they won champions league three times in a row because of that but allegri's credit has to be given that from the first final till the second final in three years he had a completely different squad in the first uh, final he had pogba vidal pierlo then tevez then morata all those players he had in the second time when he reached the finals he has reached finals with uh, pianic khedira dibala then manzukic and a completely different squad only the difference was the static point was the constant others everyone were a different team so he has uh, re-established rebuilt and then taken them to the finals that's why he's a tactical genius he's really good he's really good in rebuilding the team so get this guy get this allegri get him at football club get him at the football club i would like allegri at chelsea football club after this he's really good the board will go after thomas tuchel i know that it's simply because the two germans are there in this team that is kai havertz and this team of honor to develop these two players to get the timo time back and so that the kai havertz doesn't play like german james charles to improve them thomas tuchel has been bought in i can understand that but the players need to step up especially these two german stars because it's a new manager if under new manager also they perform the same way then they'll be kicked out of the door simple as that the players need to pull up their socks and start performing start performing with the expectations